This past Wednesday, DJI has finally released the announcement and made available the DJI Mic 2 standalone kits. Hey, what's going on everyone? Hope you're doing all right. My name is Matt, this is Wire Creatives, and I just wanted to go over DJI's latest announcement and drop. DJI has released their mic too, and since then I've been reading up and seeing what other creators have been talking about. Now I wanted to go over to see if this is worth upgrading to for someone like myself, who currently has the DJI mic ones, which I've had this for over a year, and they might even have the transmitter. Say you bought the DJI Osmos Pocket 3, and you got the creator combo, you would have gotten the transmitter like I did. So is this worth upgrading to? I'm gonna say, I do think that this is worth upgrading to. I think the features that they are offering are worth making that upgrade to. Now saying that, it's gonna be a $350 price tag opposed to the Gen 1s, which are listed at 250. Now I've used the Gen 1s for over a year now, and I've loved using these had no issues with them and highly recommend them so let's go over some of the similarities now they're both going to have about 14 hours of internal recording that's at 8 gigabytes of internal storage what separates the two is that the mic 2s are going to have 32-bit float what 32-bit float is the audio that you're recording you're going to be able to capture more of those highs and lows before they start clipping let's relate that to photography so say you have a jpeg that's going to be like using the mic ones and using the mic twos is going to be like using raw so that you can save more of those highlights and more of those blacks in your images. Now for differences, right off the bat with the aesthetics of them, the first generation transmitters are gonna be more of this matte coloring on the transmitters. Now for the Mic 2s, they're gonna come in two flavors. The first is gonna be a white one, which is gonna be great for those lighter tires or if you do wedding content. The second one is gonna be the one that I have, gonna be a black case with a smoke translucent front cover on it. And this is gonna be the one called Jana. Besides for the aesthetics, I wanted to do a quick test here. I'm gonna play an audio clip and I'm gonna have you try to figure out which is the mic one and which is the mic two. I'm gonna label them A and B, so I'm gonna drop that in right here. And at the end of this, I'm gonna tell you which is which. Capture authentic sounds with the upgraded, ready-to-use DJI Mic 2. With its premium features including high-quality audio recording, intelligent noise cancelling, and support for 32-bit floating point internal recording, DJI Mic 2 empowers you to produce balanced and detailed rich audio content perfect for vlogs, interviews, live streams, and more. Now going into the cases, the first generation is going to be a little bit smaller and the newer generation does look a little bit nicer. Now one thing that I wish the case did have was room for these dead cats and the TRX cable. Now I know they give you a bag for the first one and then like a zip up pouch for the second one. Now I wish you could just grab the charging case with the transmitter and receiver already in it and just have all those accessories in there ready to go. Now in terms of the charging case and the battery life, the first gen transmitters are going to be 5.5 hours with a total of 15 hours with the charging case, while the newer ones are going to be 6 hours, which is only a half hour longer, with a total of 18 hours with the charging case. That's only a little bit longer battery life, and in the past year, I haven't run into issues with the battery running out. Now, if you're shooting all day doing interviews, I can definitely see this coming into play, but for myself, I don't see that battery life being an issue. Another difference between the two is going to be on the transmitters. For the first gen, you see here, it's only going to be that flat front. The second gen is going to have a little knob on the front of it, and that would be useful to access the settings quicker, and then even things like gain when you need to shoot on the go. Now, the three main differences that I see as a selling and key feature are going to be the 32-bit float, which we went over. And again, I think this is nice to have. Ultimately, if you know your audio conditions and what you're going to be in, I think most of us have this dialed in where the first generation, we're 100% able to use that. So that's going to be a want and not a need. The second thing is going to be the Bluetooth connectivity. Now I'm currently using that with the DJI Osmos Pocket 3 and the audio quality I think is great with it. I haven't had any issues, but I know looking at some of these other creators, they have mentioned that in busier areas, you are going to have some connectivity issues. I think the creator Potato Jet did a great job bringing this up. I think he was at CES and was using these and he came across an issue where he was in an area that had high frequencies and it started cutting out intermittently. So that's just something to note. And if you don't watch Potato Jet, definitely head over to his channel. I love the content he puts out and he's very informative with what he does. The third thing here is gonna be their intelligent noise isolation. And as someone who's been using this on and off for the past few weeks and seeing what other creators have put out for their sampling, it does isolate your voice and reduce the background noise. But the issue is it makes your voice sound a little robotic and then the noise that it's canceling out kind of gets a little washy there. So for me, that's not something that I personally would use in my workflow as of right now, but as they improve it, 
Hopefully they have a few updates where they make it cleaner and I can definitely see this being an important part of their features. For a quick recap, I do think that this is worth upgrading to and I do think these features are enough to make that upgrade worth it. But for people like myself, I am going to hold off a little bit longer just to see what they do with the updates and to make sure that this is what are upgrading to for the price that it's at. Now let me know in the comments below what you thought, whether you're going to go ahead and upgrade, whether you're going to wait whether you're going to just stick with the version 1s or if you're new to the audio, whether you're going to go for the mic 1s or mic 2s. Thanks for watching and as always, I'll see you next time.